Well, great news, gentlemen. This is probably my last video before I go back to work. Yes, I thought you'd be happy about that. And it's amazing to me that there's still some men out there that are kind of sitting on the fence. And still think a lot of femons are gentle, caring creatures. And of course they can be, if it's advantageous for them. But even guys on the fence must have seen a sort of a pattern in the last few years. Any man that's in any sort of power, or has money, or is a celebrity, or is in sports high up end, is considered a target by the femons. And mostly by either sexual assault, inappropriate behavior, and the list goes on. They make them up as they go along. Their aim is to destroy that man and take his money. Because they always seem to have money, don't they? And of course, the rules keep on changing. They keep on changing the goalposts, don't they? Say, for instance, five years ago, it was well accepted that a femon came into the office and a guy says, Ooh, you look very nice today. Now that could be considered as inappropriate behavior. And although the new laws just come in, they can retro it way back to, say, 10, 15 years. So when you think about it, the man can't win. Say a femon falls over in the street and a man helps her up. That could be considered sexual assault now. And all this is just a sham, isn't it? To get the man's money. I mean, there's certainly men out there that cross the line, but not every man as they make it out to be. But you can tell on a lot of these charges, they're making it up as they go along. And they're kind of like shucks, because when one femon brings charges against a man, all these other femons come out of the woodwork, because they think they can get a piece of the action, a bit of the money. And of course, they also get attention, and they also can play the victim. A win-win for them. There seems to be far more sexual attacks by men on women than years ago. Well, according to the media, that is. Which seems kind of funny to me, because many years ago, it was a lot harder for a man to get sex from a femon. He had to jump through many hoops and pay out quite a bit of money. But nowadays, man can get sex anywhere, just by swiping on his phone. Maybe many people don't know this, but femons were used quite widely in the war. They were used to get close to people, and when I mean close to people, I mean have sex, of course, and get information from them. And femons were good at this, because they had no real feelings at all. And their monetary payment, I expect. You see, femons are kind of born with no morals. They can sleep with you tonight and sleep with your best friend tomorrow night, and not think anything of it. So let's say a man's walking along the street, and the way Fimon's dressed today, they look like women of the night anyway, even if it isn't night. And as he walks past his Fimon, he says, Ooh, you look like a nice whore. Of course, that would be deemed wrong speech. But then again, even saying hello to this Fimon would be wrong speech too. And saying, you look like a bag of shit, darling, would be way out of line. But probably very true. And that's why it's best just to stay away from them all. You see, in my mind, I just think that they're all mentally ill. And I don't even trust the ones that don't act mentally ill. There are some men out there that their jaws have dropped right to the floor. Because they've watched a few videos of these new femons that are showing themselves who they really are and what they always have been. Men talking about mental ill things, Britney Spears is free, thank God. Although she was probably under the protection order far too long, there was a reason why she was under one in the first place. But she's free now, and what's her first thing to do? Well, she's a femon. She's stripped off on some site somewhere. Well, I'm glad she's found something new to do that no other Femon's done before, or is doing again today. You see, the trouble is, is that Femon's are getting far less attention than they ever have. And they crave it so badly that they seem to be getting more and more disgusting, don't they? Which in turn will get them less attention. Then there seems to be a lot of stories about these older Femon's who actually have hit the wall and saying how younger men 
are attracted to her. They don't even know her age. Ho <laughs> ho. Yeah, they do. They're just using you, dear. Like you use men for years yourself. There is going to be a generation of femons that are all alone when they get older. And a lot of them with no children as well. And because of their lifestyle now, riding the cock carousel, the wall is coming sooner for most of them. You see, for most men who are logical, it's pretty obvious that femons were built for a certain job on the planet. They weren't built to carry heavy loads. They weren't built with the stamina to work physically hard jobs 12 hours a day. They were specifically built for breeders and to be mothers. And that is a very important job. But they're putting femons in these powerful positions. It's like putting a square peg in a round hole. The head of the UK police force is a femon. The morale in the UK police force is the lowest it's ever been since records began, I believe. They just don't have confidence in their leader. Then yes, the UK police force has gone very woke. Which is great for the criminals, but not so good for the citizens. And like I said before, I had two friends who were in the police force for a very long time. Their fathers were in the police force, and I believe their father before them. But they left because of the policy changes. Oh, and there's a new procedure, apparently, that's uh, being become popular. It's some laser treatment of the vagina to tighten it up. <laughs> Something makes me think this is going to be a very popular procedure. So you'll have a femon with clown eyebrows, a ton of makeup on the face, probably wearing a wig, with fillers pumped into her lips on the face, that is, guys. Well, I don't know, maybe not. She'll have breast implants, designer tats all over her, maybe a Brazilian butt implant, and has had laser treatment on her vagina. Oh, and let's not forget those big false eyelashes too. It's just so sad and so ridiculous at the same time, isn't it? And I'm really glad I'm out to pasture now and don't have to worry about any of that crap. So remember, guys, put your time and effort and money into something else except those crazy damn femons. And of course you know they act crazy a lot to get attention. Just don't give it to them. And don't compliment a femon. That's sexual harassment. You can't win guys, so give up. <laughs>